Hello and welcome to SolidCAD. Today we are going to make this simple part for beginners. This is a good exercise. I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's start. Open a new part. Like so. On the top plane, I will draw a circle. Like so. And give it a dimension. This is 12.5 internal and 22.5 outside. So let me give it a dimension first. Okay, whatever it is, I will convert it. Okay. Make it display option as radius. Display option as radius. Now this is 22.5. Okay. And this is 12.5. The radius are defined and I will draw another circles a couple of circles here and here they are also given the dimension in radius not in the diameter okay okay display as radius display as radius I don't know why yes it is done display option make it radius let's check what the radiuses are 17.5 and 7.5 okay seventeen point five and seven point five okay so this is actually 35 and 15 millimeter. I will draw a line from here to here. Like so. I will draw a center line and make all this mirror on the other side. I will give it a dimension of 13 millimeter which is in the drawing let's cut it trim it extra which i don't need the sketch is not fully defined because it is it has no horizontal relationship with each anything This is radius, this is radius, it's not fully defined, why it is not fully defined, oh yes, I didn't give the dimension from here to here, it is 75 millimeter. now the sketch is fully defined, now let's extrude it, exit out of it, extrude, only I will delete this, and only take this one up to 50 millimeter 50 millimeter okay i will wake this up again and extrude sketch not this only this one up to 20 millimeters like so i will draw on the top plane lines from here to there from here to there holding control key i will convert these to and trim it the extra which i don't need the sketch is fully defined let's extrude it feature extruded base boss I will extrude it up to 10 millimeter which is given in the drawing and it is 5 millimeter from the top plane top plane it is in the center of this this is 20 and this is 10 5 millimeter below and 5 millimeter above so this is the plate okay 
the plate is complete I will go for front plane and draw a sketch I will draw a couple of circles here give them dimension whatever it is I convert it to radius because this is given in the radius display option make our radius display options make as radius display as radius now I will give it this radius radius is 15 and 16 millimeter dia this this should be display as diameter this is no sorry this should be displayed as radius and this should be displayed as diameter this is 16 millimeter okay and this is let me check this is 15 millimeter radius okay let me give the dimension from here to here it is 35 millimeter and from origin to here is this will go in the three way different if but if you want to align the dimension right click the mouse as it is shown in the mouse right click and it now it will stay locked in no problem there so this is 25 okay I will draw a line from here to somewhere here and here to there I will give it a dimension to fully define the sketch okay I will trim the extra now it is fully defined now let it extrude it up to 31 millimeter 31 millimeter mid plane okay this is complete now I will cut it from I will draw a sketch on this this surface surface I will take slots and make a slot here like so I'll give it a dimension of 2.5 millimeter because the cut is 5 millimeter I will give it dimension whatever it is to fully define the sketch now let's cut it cut through all okay accept it the cut is complete now it's time for the rib if I make the conventional rib conventional type of rib I will go to front plane I will show you what the problem comes I will draw a line from here to here and from there to there I will give it some dimensions I will dimension here 2 millimeter okay and the dimension from here to here is 2 millimeter okay now I'll go for rib 10 millimeter is okay because the 10 millimeter is required now I will draw a rib here rib is defined but you see these are the corners protruding here we don't want this I want this to be fully merged with the surface so I will exit I will de delete this completely and make it the other way I will draw a lines here first the center line from here to this point I will offset it 5 millimeter bi-directional like so okay I will hold control and convert these entities I will trim first I will extrude it I'll extend it and then I will trim it I will trim the extra 
the sketch is fully defined. I will exit out of it and I will go for uh, split lines. I'll sketch is taken. Only required is the face. I'll take this face. Projection. We'll take projection. Okay. I'll go and make this uh, show this again because I need another split line. I'll take this sketch and this face. Okay. Now we are ready to lofted boss base. I will take this surface, this face and this face. I need only take this up. Okay. The rib is complete. In this case, you see there is no corners. Here is completely merged with this surface. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. And I'm happy with that and uh, I hope you like this this is the very simple part you can make it from uh, from the drawing you can uh, take a snapshot of this drawing I showed earlier and thanks for watching and please subscribe